Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to work through setting up the Mastercam environment prior to working through the lessons. Now, before starting each lesson, you should set up the grid and customize the toolbars to machine a 2D part and set the machine type to a Haas vertical spindle CNC machine. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is set up the grid. So what I'm going to do is move up to the top of the screen, open up settings and number one on the list here, going to move into configuration. Now over on the left screen, just below screen is grid settings. Now what I'm going to do is activate the visible grid and the size I'm going to leave it set to 1. Now I'm going to move down and apply this and I'm prompted save all current settings to the configuration file. So this configuration file that I'm saving it to is mcamx.config and I'm going to say yes. I'm going to click on the green check mark to exit configuration. And there's our grid on the screen so it's a one by one square. Now let me show you the shortcut on my keyboard to move into grid settings. So Alt G opens up the selection grid parameters dialog box and as you can see I've got my visible grid activated and down below the size is set to 1. Now active grid if you activate this, this allows you to snap to the grid points. I'm going to click on OK. Now by saving the grid settings in the configuration file, next time I launch Mastercam, the grid will automatically show up. Now next up, what I'm going to do is set up the machine type. And what I'm going to do is set it up for a generic Haas mill. Now over on the left in the toolpass manager at present we have nothing there but that's going to change shortly. Now I'm going to move up to machine type. Now there's all my different types of machines. I'm going to open up mill and what I want to do is set it up for this generic Haas four axis mill and I'm going to click on this one. Now as you can see on the left in the toolpaths manager the machine has been set up for a generic Haas. Now let's just go back into machine type again and I'm going to open up mill. So for all the lessons you'll use a Haas vertical spindle CNC machine to machine the part. Now if you don't have the appropriate post processor for the generic Haas mill you can use the default mill. Now let's check out manage list. So I'm going to click on manage list. So on the right is the generic Haas 4 axis mill that we just selected and on the left the machines available to me. Now I'm just going to show you how you can add a machine to that list. So let's just move on down. This guy here, generic has 4 axis mill MM. So this is a metric version of what I just selected. I'm going to click on add. I'm going to click the green check mark. Now if we go back into machine types now and I open up mill, there's that generic has the metric version that I just added. Now what I'm going to do is go back into manage list and I'm going to remove this metric one. I'm going to click on manage list. I'm going to pick this one here and then click on remove. We're done here. I'm going to click on the OK. So now if I go back into machine type, open up mill, there's that generic Haas mill. So this is the inch version. Over on the left in the toolpaths manager, I'm just going to hit the plus sign just to the left of properties. Next up, I'm going to click on stock setup. So this is where we'll be going later on to set up the size of the material. I'm just going to close this up. We'll be checking out 
the other parameters later on. Next thing I'm going to do is set the toolbars to machine a 2D part. So what we can do is go into settings, slide on down, move into load workspace, and then I could select 2D toolpaths. Now I already have this set up in the configuration file, so when I launch Mastercam, it automatically loads up the workspace for 2D toolpaths. Let me go ahead now and show you how that is set up in the configuration file. So I'm going to move back into settings and go back into configuration. Now over on the left, I'm going to click on start exit. Now workspace, I've already set it up for 2D toolpaths. So each time I launch Mastercam, the toolbars will be set up for creating 2D toolpaths. I'm just going to click the X to cancel out of config. Next up, let's check out displaying the toolpaths manager. So over on the left is the toolpaths manager. Eventually, when we start to create toolpaths, all the toolpaths operations will be stacked up in this white space. Now, I'm going to close this up. If I just move over to the right, I'm going to click on the close button. Now, I'm going to go up to view and I'm going to toggle the toolpaths manager. That's it back on again. I'm going to go back into view and then toggle the solids manager. Now down at the bottom we're on toolpaths. I'm just going to click on solids. Back to toolpaths. I'm going to move on up view and I'm going to toggle off the solids manager. Now you can also use Alt O on your keyboard to turn off the display of the toolpaths manager. I'm going to click Alt-O again to get the Toolpaths Manager back up on the screen. Now let's jump back into configuration and what about if you want to create your part in metric. So I'm going to go into settings, configuration. Now down at the bottom the current config file is mcamx.config and that's in English and that's our startup configuration file. If you want to change it over to metric, here it is here. I'm just going to pick it and then click on OK. Now scale current parts, I'm going to say yes. Now let's go back in and change it back to inches. So settings, configuration, I'm going to open up the drop down and I'm going to set it back to inches. So this is the mcamx.config file. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to pick Yes to scale the current part to English. Now that completes this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be talking with you soon.